Barry and just whoa, okay, na 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 na, for the Old Testament reading. And some places they will just read them. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and they would just read just like a regular reading. And at the end, you might just make it a little louder just so that the priest doesn't fall asleep in back. <laughs> which has delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave them tithes of all. And just at the very end like that, just to wake up the priest so that he'll say wisdom for the next reading. Okay? So any one of those is okay, but the Old Testament reading should be very simple. Should be very, very simple. Okay? Uh, and again, the same thing. The biggest thing is not to be theatrical about it, not to be, you know, very no contrived. Yeah. Are you saying that Old Testament differ reading than New Testament? Differ? Yeah, from the Epistle reading, yeah. Is, uh, and, and the Psalms, though, can be chanted? Psalms can be chanted. Uh, not usually, necessarily monotone? Uh, I would say more monotone than less, but not monotone totally, yeah. yeah I would, like a monotone giving some, you know, how the words, where the accents are here and there. Okay. Yeah. And the psalms can also be chanted, like I said, they can be chanted, although you don't find that happening terribly much in the Kaivan, you know, kind of tradition. In the Galician tradition, they'll tend to do that, and it can be very, very nice. Okay? So, how to read in church. Let me see how much time we have. Okay, it is, oh, it's 4.30 already. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. 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 Prostiše vid apostola. Mi bi ne čitali tak, jak čitajemo apostola. Tak bi ne zrobili. Abo podivno do halickoho sposobu. Um, yeah, free melody. Um, Tož naležet hospodevi Bohu tvojemu nebo i nebo nebes, zemlja i vse, što na nji, tilki batki v tvojih upodobav, hospod, tak vo. Prostesenke? Možno navid i prosto četati, ali viščim holozom. Tož naležet hospodevi Bohu tvojemu nebo i nebo nebes, zemlja i vse, što na nji, I to jedna sam kinec troške pidvišćati. Bu veliki ta strašni djela, jak i bačili oči tvoji. Takvo. Ok? Ale prostesenke. For the psalms, like he asked about the hours, you know, and when you're reading those psalms, the big thing is very simple, very simple. Try not to rush too much, because there's going to be a tendency to rush and run things together uh, so that people who are listening can, can understand what the words are. And what's going to happen is people aren't going to catch everything. Um, one of the realities is that the paradoxes is that in the Orthodox Church we are inundated with Scripture. It's like you go to church for royal hours and Vesper Liturgy on the morning of January 6th. And in that three and a half hours, it's like a dump truck dumps two tons worth of Holy Scripture onto your head. Okay? You can't integrate all of that. You can't integrate even a small portion of it. So what happens is the person is reading and people are listening. And somebody's going to catch a phrase here a word there, and it's going to get into their brain, and it's going to rattle around inside their brain, and they're going to be thinking of it, and then they're going to think, oh, he's reading, I should go back, and you go and you listen again. And so you're not going to catch everything, and nobody expects anyone to catch everything. But your thoughts will be sort of directed by the psalms and the readings and the hymns that you're hearing in church. Do you, do you sort of know what I mean? That's sort of the way it works. Whereas you can go to a Protestant church, a Bible-believing Protestant church, where they preach the gospel, the gospel, and nothing but the gospel, and we don't do all that other stuff that you guys do. 
And if you hear one sentence from the Holy Scriptures in the two-hour service, you're lucky. And it's, it's, that's the paradox of the whole thing. We swim in the Holy Scriptures. And, you know, a lot, and I'm not saying all of them, I mean, God bless them. But a lot of these Protestants, if you go to any of their services, there's so little there as far as the actual reading of Holy Scripture that you wouldn't believe it. You can't believe it. My wife was doing a job for a while as a, doing a, uh, uh, coordinating uh, this after school program for at risk youth, you know, over in Whitby. And she had to go on Sunday morning to certain Protestant churches to sort of make the pitch, right? And I won't even tell you about the, the, the United Church she went to where the Sunday morning service was their strategic planning session because they couldn't have it any other time because the only time people came to church was on Sunday morning. So in, you know, their worship service was doing a strategic planning meeting about what our parish is going to do. Right? So I won't even talk about that. <laughs> but you, know, you go to other places and like if you hear one quote from the New Testament or one quote from the Old Testament, that's all the scripture you get in the whole service. So, you know, we swim in the Holy Scriptures. And so all of that has to be accessible to people. So whenever you're reading, whenever you're singing, whenever you're chanting, that's the main thing we have to remember. That the music exists so that it can more deeply enter into the heart of the people who are listening. When we read, we make sure that if they hear us, they can understand us. Okay? And that's why, again, you try to make sure you know what the words are so that you don't end up you know, saying the wrong word because, uh, you know what, it's not good when you're serving in the altar to go around with a notebook. But I really, really, really would like to have a notebook with me just to note all of the heresies I've heard in church when people read the wrong words. You know? And I mean, it's not that anybody does anything badly, it's just mistakes, but it's really, really funny sometimes the kind of things that get read in church because of a mispronunciation or they use the wrong word, you know? Anything? No? You mentioned heresy. Is yeah. that heresy? What? No, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, not, not if somebody were to, if, if some, yeah, if somebody were to preach what was said, yeah. then you would say, oh yeah, they're a heretic, right? No, it's just a mistake. There's nothing wrong, right? There's no sin or anything. It's just that, you know, if you were to take what the person said and preach it, yeah. that would be heresy, you know? And, and uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's lots of fun. You know, it's lots of fun. The, 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 the people do their best, right? And it happens to everybody. You know, like, I'm, I'm always watching myself. I'm always watching myself. Because, yeah, you miss one word. Oh boy. You know, and you can, yeah. It's like the story, the story, um, and old cantors will give you all kinds of stories about this. Uh, um, it's that Joe Roll, who did the Galician book, told me that in his parish in eastern Pennsylvania, um, oh, and I can't remember now, in Slavonic. In Slavonic, I think it's the second antiphon, our God is a good God and there is no, there is no, uh, what's not good, there is no badness or whatever in him. I can't remember now in Slavonic. But anyway, the, the, the cantor left out one word, so it became, you know, our God is a good God and there is no goodness in him. <laughs> you know, in Slavonic, which a guy, you know. So all kinds of stuff like that, where you have to be just really careful to make sure that you're saying the, the, the correct thing. Okay? So that's what that's about. Listen, let's just very quickly go over the Vesperal service. Do you guys all have your Vesperal notes? Um, if you can be at the at the cathedral, but basically, how many people think that they can be at the cathedral for 6 p.m. on January the 13th? Okay. If we can get there by about 5:30, quarter to six. Okay. Bring. Oh, please. Person who usually sings that too? Yeah. Are we going to be following our notes or what we do? We will do with our notes. And, and we have certain sections. I haven't. Uh, uh, this was discussed at the Aparki Council meeting. Okay. Ladika blessed it. Father Yaroslav was tasked with um, sort of coordinating things, and I haven't heard anything yet. So, okay. Okay. so I. I know, I know. Yeah, that's why I was very clear at the meeting to say, you know, if we do this, okay. 
please. Okay, please. Is there going to be a choir from the cathedral? Or? No, they have singers who sing vespers usually, okay. cantors. Okay, now I also have sent out the propers for that night. It's for uh, circumcision of our Lord, feast day of St. Basil, but I sent out the wrong ones. Oh. Oh. So I will send out, I will send out the, 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 the real ones, the good ones, because just so that you know, I'm going through and I'm correcting and like all of the texts from the new Dobri Pastir, the Tropares, etc. Wherever possible, I'm taking my Vespers notes and inserting those newer texts so that it's all, this, we're using the same Tropar translation for everything, right? If you see stuff which is with the, with the uh, sans, without the little, I do like a Times Roman thing now. So if you see the Times Roman with the little, I don't know what they're called, the serif, yeah. The serif font, this is what I'm using now, this one. And if you get one that's all rounded like this, that's not it. So I will send out the propers for you again for the real ones, and I will mark the real ones, okay? So basically, it's like a Times Roman font that I'm using for the Vespers verses now. So when I send these Vespers verses out, if you get it like this, you'll know. So don't worry. Okay? So we don't have to worry about that right now. Just pull out for now your Vespers music. And I just want to go through a few things. Um, four, let's see how much time do we have. Okay, we have about five minutes. Let's warm up just by singing the Prokimen. Okay, so let's go to... Um, Uh, Prokimen, Vespers Prokimen, do you all have it? Hospod Vodsari Hivsya, Uvelichni Sohodja Nuvsya. Do you have it? After the Dogmatiki? After the Dogmatiki? After, right after Svita Tiki. Right after Svita Tiki. Yeah, after Svita Tiki. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Prokimen. Bechirni Prokimen. Okay? First of all, just in one, in one voice in Ukrainian. Hospod vodsari vsya uvelichni sohodja nusya. Okay. Um, for the basses, you start on the same note. Uh, ladies, sing the melody, what we just sang. Guys, everybody for now, sing bass. We start on the same note. Horse, ready, end. Horse, boy, what's our ease? O velich, ni so ya. Okay. I'm drawing a blank. Hospod vodsari hivsya uvelich niso hodja nusya. Guys with me, end. Hospod vodsari hivsya uvelich niso hodja nusya. Ladies. Hospod vodsari hivsya uvelich niso hodja nusya. Ready, guys and ladies, end. Hospod vodsari hivsya uvelich niso hodja nusya. Now, ladies, if I can ask, who has higher voices? Who has higher voices? Okay, take Bradford ladies, okay? 
Tanya, you as well. You've got the, uh, whatchamacallit, you've got the um, higher harmony in the alto line here, but I'm going to ask you to sing the alto line. Just, it'll help to think of it higher. Just, this is just for the way we think of it. Hospod, 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 you three with me. Hospod, vodsarivsya, uvelichni sohodya nusya. Got it? Just the four of uh, Hanus, you, you as well. And Hos for what's a ribsia, O Velichni, so ya nusia. Hos for the rest of the ladies, Hos for guys here, ready, and Hos for the what's a ribsia. O velichni so ya Okay, beautiful. You see how it works? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go let's go two pages down. Actually, three pages down. Litany of supplication. Ladies. And again. Bases. Hos body po mi loy guys. Hos body po mi loy ladies and bases and hos body po mi loy ladies. Hos body po mi bases add to that and. Hos body po mi tenors. Hos body po mi loy. Ladies, basses, tenors, and hos body po mi loy. Everybody again, nice and loud. Hos body po mi. Podai hos podie. Podai hos podie. Again. Podai hos podie. Tobi hos podie. Tobi hos podie. Okay, good. Um, the Song of St. Simeon we know, Bohorod Sejivo we know. Let's just quickly do the Great Dismissal. Uh, do it just in Ukrainian. Veliki vid pust prisamim kinsi. Premudrist blahoslovi. Blahosloven ina viki vikiv. Amin. Utverde Bože Svjatu pravoslavnu vjeru i vsih pravoslavnih hristijana vike vikiv. Presvjetaja Bohorodice, spasi nas. Česnišu vid heruvimi vi nezribnjeno slavnišu vid serafimiv. S čo bez islinja Boha slovo porodila. Suščuju Bohorodicu tebe veličajemo. Slava tobi, Hriste Bože, upovanje naše. Slava tobi, slava Otcu i Sinu i Svjatomu Duhovi. I nini po vsek čas i na vike viki vaminj. Gospodi pomiluj, gospodi pomiluj, gospodi pomiluj. Blahoslovi i na viki viki, blahej čoloviko ljubec. Amin, amin. Ok, just go back to tone 8. Hospode jazval, hospode vzivaju, tone 8. 
Lord, I have cried, Hospital Visivayu, tone 8, because that'll be the tone we're using uh, on the 13th of January, okay? So again, we're going to do it once, just with melody, and then once tr doing the harmony as well, okay? So just with the melody together. Hospodiv zebayu do tebe vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj mene, hospodiv. Hospodiv zebayu do tebe vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj holos molinja moho. Koli budu moliti sja do tebe, vysluchaj mene, Hospodi. Basis, you start an octave below. So if it begins with this soprano line, Hospodi, you do ho, 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 ho. Hospodi, if you want to tebe, please look at me. No, that's too low. Ho, ho, ho. Hospodi, ho, ho. Hospodi, if you want to tebe, please. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 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 Hospodiv zivaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj mene, hospodiv. Hospodiv zivaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj holos molinja moho, koli budu moliti sja do tebe, vysluchaj mene, hospodiv. Bases, you get that? Bases, did you get that? One more time with the bases. Hospodiv zivaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj mene, hospodiv. Hospodiv zivaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj holos molinja moho, Koli budu moliti sja do tebe, vysluchaj mene, hospodi. Let's try it with the sopranos and with the basses. Hospodi, ho, ready, end. Hospodi, vysluchaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj mene, hospodi. Hospodi vzivaj do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj holos molinja moho, koli budu moliti sja do tebe, vysluchaj mene, hospodi. Pane Jurije? Zimno je tenor line. Ready? Ho, spodi. Ho, 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 ho. Ready? E. Ho, spodi, vzivaj do tebe. No, guys, guys, by spaces as well. Everybody together. Ho, ho, and. Ho, spodi, vzivaj do tebe. Vysluchaj mene. Vysluchaj mene, ho. Hospodi, hospodi vzivaju do tebe, vysluchaj mene, vysluchaj holos molinja moho, koli budu moliti sja do tebe. Vysluchaj mene, hospodi. Okay. That's okay. Well, that's okay. Um, just to give you an idea of how all that fits together. Um, good. We don't have any more time. We're going to go upstairs for Vespers. Next uh, meeting is on February the 1st, 1 till 5, here again. 
uh, we're going to be starting work on February and March doing the Lenten services. The Canon of St. Andrew, the Presanctified Liturgy, we're going to do the Akathius hymn, we'll do that in March though. All those things that we do during Lent, okay? Um, also, on the 26th of this month, January the 26th, Vespers at 5 p.m. in Oshawa. We had talked about, what? Saturday? It's a Saturday. 25th. Oh, 25th. 25th, yeah, 25th, okay. 25th. Uh, if you are able to come, please do let me know so that we are properly prepared with food and refreshments, okay? Um, I will send out an email to everybody about that, so then... What? You have to call me. 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 Just let me know. Just let me know. Yeah. Okay. 25th, 25th for Vespers at 5, and afterwards we'll have, you know, whatever, barbecue, whatever. It'll be, it'll be it's a Saturday. It'll be nice. We'll have nice warm weather. We can do a barbecue, hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're all invited for her name's day on the 25th. Okay. Anyone, any parish who would like to invite us to come out and sing Vespers in February, March, April, or May is invited to let me know so that I can circulate the information to the distribution list, okay? Good? Dobre? Okay, diakuyu, you know, we've, we've gone, we've, we've done a lot, we've done a lot, so it's good. Za Desit kvilin počinajemo večernju na hori. Ok? Zbohom.